folks, this is Vicki from PatternPrincess.com. I really wanted to show you how to do this really pretty um, open weave summer shawl. I'm actually in the process of working on it. Um, you can see where I just left my loop long here. So I'm about, I don't know if I'm gonna make it double wide what it is now, or if I'm gonna, I don't know, make it a little bit, maybe do this three times, but we'll see. Um, so far, um, it just, it's very pretty. I have this uh, folded in half and half again. It's a very, let me give you the single row of it so you can really see what it looks like. Just one row of it. Very nice open weave um, shawl. And the colors, if you're interested in the colors, I'm using Karen Simply Soft. And of course, this is how, this, so far this is one skein of each color. Um, this is what I have left of the white. So I can certainly get um, another you know, make this double wide here and still be able to use this. Um, and then this one here, this is the green, and I have th the three different sections of the green. This is what's left so far out of that skein, and this is called Citrus. And of course, this is white from Karen Simply Soft. So I'm gonna do a small swatch today and show you how to uh, work this stitch, but it's very easy. A um, Little bit about what I've worked on so far. This shawl, the lengthways, I'm working at the lengthways. I started with 261 stitches. If you want to make this shawl longer or shorter, um, it is um, make sure that you can divide it by three and add six. Um, so that, that's a pattern to be able to make it bigger or smaller. I'm using a larger hook, I'm using a J hook. This one here is a 5.75 millimeter. Um, oh, I'm sorry, this is 66 inches long. Um, that's the full length of it. The width, I'm not sure yet because I'm not done. <laughs> I'm thinking about, because um, I have enough white yarn and I have enough of this green yarn. I had just bought this green yarn in the store and it just looks so fresh and so summery. Um, I'm actually thinking that I'm going to add fringe on the bottom of each side when I'm done with this or before I consider it done. So I'm thinking about having fringe and I do have another video um, on adding fringe. I think that that would just be a pretty addition to this um, when you have it hanging down. When I when I take some pictures of this after I get it finished, I think you'll see that it just, you know, gets a little bit of a fun frilly look to it. I think that would really look cute on this shawl. Um, is there anything else I need to tell you? I think, I think that's kind of what you'd need to know to get going here. So I'm gonna get this started. Um, I'll leave that there in case you wanted to access it to, as we're going along. So I got some yarn here. This is, and I had to get to a point today. I had to crochet it to a point where I could actually get the yarn off of it. And uh, I'm working in the same color yarn. I'll just tear it out later and I'll actually just, um, well, part of this I'll lose, but I'll actually just uh, use this to continue on with my project. So here we go. I'm going to, do, oops. Remember, I'm going to do multiples of three plus six. So I'm gonna do three sets of three, which is nine, plus six, and that gives me 15. So I am going to do a chain of 15. Here we go. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, now we're going to start here. So in the sixth chain from the hook, one, two, three, four, five, six, we're going to double crochet. So if you can double crochet you can and chain, you can do this shawl. It's just very easy. And then the reason that we did this is because I need to have, um, when I, on the end of every row, we're gonna have a bigger loop like this because you're gonna have, it's gonna be the, chain three for the double crochet, and then there's another chain two in between spaces. So now we're going to chain two. Whoopsies. One, two. We're gonna to skip two, one, two. And it gives you kind of this um, black look, kind of this square look. I'll show you on the second, when I get to the second row, chain two. This is the full, pay, this is the, once I get to row two, you're gonna skip two. You're gonna repeat the rows and, and make it as wide as you would like to make it. The length is determined by your initial chain. So that's why I wanted to make sure that you had your initial stitch. And here we go, one, two, and then in that last stitch, we're going to double crochet. And of course, row one is complete. Now, this second row that we're going to do, 
is how you're going to work this shawl the whole way. See how it forms a square? It's kind of neat, forms a square, right? So we're gonna chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And again, that accounts for your initial chain three, like if you're gonna do a double crochet, and then chain two, because we're going to skip the two stitches here, right? So we're going to double crochet right in the top of the last double crochet. So this is where after a while, all you're doing is counting, making sure that you're chaining two. And because of, when you double crochet, you pull through twice and you chain two twice, it, it just, it, it's a rhythm that gets in my head and it's very easy. I feel, I feel like I'm not even counting. So chain two and then double crochet in the top of that other one. We're gonna get that done. And then I'll also show you how I changed um, colors on the end of this. And of course, as you can see, I have some long ends I gotta weave in as well. So chain two and then double crochet. Now we have that, remember we have that lot of chains at the beginning. So I'm gonna yarn over and then in the third chain, one, two, whoopsies, one, two, three, right here, I'm going to do a double crochet. So then that gives you the same kind of squares. Now we're gonna do it one more time. We're gonna chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and then double crochet right on the top there. This is the same pattern, chain two, skip two, double crochet in the top of the double crochet, chain two, skip two, and then chain two, and then in the third one, one, two, three, we're going to stick our hook and do our double crochet. So we actually, I guess I'm gonna have to snip this off to change colors and not have it all wind up, it's all right. We'll get our white going next. So you can see though here, make a bigger loop. See, that lines up. That's how you would do it. And, and it's just a, a row. And remember my initial row that I did, I chained, um, what did I say, 261? I think I chained. Okay, so when you change yarn, this is what I do. And it seems to work out nice. I just get my yarn through here, pull it through that loop, Pull this loop snug and sometimes you kind of have to hold both yarns and then tighten it up a little bit too as you after you start and then even tighten it up a little bit more when you weave in your ends so i have that yarn in there and i just i'm still holding it and i grab this now i'm going to chain five one two three four five yarn over and then i'm going to double crochet in that first one and one two double crochet and one, two, and double crochet. But as you can tell, this is one, two. This is a pattern that I have used to work the whole shawl so far. And I just think it's turning out so pretty. There we go. I'm gonna make a big loop for you. But as you can see, of course, eventually I'm gonna weave in the ends. And as I said, I'm thinking I'm gonna probably add fringe to the bottom. So I've changed yarn. Of course, this loop looks bigger right now but it won't be after I get done and do this. So um, I hope that you take the time to make a pretty shawl too. It's, it's just a nice, pretty open weave, great for the summer. And uh, I think that the colors just really help make it pop. So thanks again for watching. Um, please make sure that you like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And again, I will eventually have this written up. And by the time that I post this, I should have this written up and available for you on the website on patternprincess.com. Take care and have a wonderful day.